Hey everybody, my name is Florian. Today I'm not going to do a tutorial like the last ones. It's more like a run through how I did this piece here. Um, I didn't record how I did this one and I didn't want to do the exact same thing twice so I did uh, this thing here but it uses uh, exactly the same techniques like the other one. And um, I'm gonna do it uh, fast forwarded so you don't have to bear with me while I've tried to um, render stuff in Octane. Uh, I use Cinema 4D, uh, Table Lens 50, uh, X Particles, and uh, Octane to render the whole thing. Actually, I'm not using Table Lens 50 for for this bit here um, because I didn't uh, find it necessary for the part particular one. But um, there's a little bit of Table Lens 50 going on here, so the the smoky bits here on the actual body are Table Lens 50. The stuff down here is comped in afterwards, and um, I'm going to show you how to do this thing here. So let's get it started. So I'm starting up with this uh, stock model of a um, our free model of a skull that I found on TurboSquid and was quite uh, high resolution, it was like uh, 80 or 800,000 polys or something. So I um, made it a bit more low res with the polygon reducer. But I realized, uh, what I didn't realize for the first couple of minutes working on it, that the uh, mesh was still way too uh, dense, which slowed down my um, X-particle simulation quite a lot. So as you can see, the frame counter in the viewport stays at 3 or 4 frames, so it was really, really slow and I couldn't really figure out why. Later on I will uh, reduce the polygons even more and it starts to run uh, nice and smoothly. But, uh, the first couple of uh, minutes I had to work with this. So uh, I made the particles um, uh, attract the surface with an XP cover modifier and um, I just uh, twisted a helix around the skull so the particles as soon as they are they're on the surface, the surface is a um, X particle um, collider object, so as soon as they're on the surface they're being attracted by the um, by the helix and uh, they do their uh, circular motion around the around the skull in a more ordered manner and not not like they would normally do in um, like a random random fashion or, or depending on, on in which direction they uh, they came from so I'm setting this stuff up and still wondering why it's running so slowly I even try to reduce the size of the trails because I thought that's maybe the problem but it wasn't I'm controlling the whole thing by by uh, using two particle groups so when they're born they're in a particle group uh, surface uh, born um, the XP cover modifier is only um, um, affecting the born group and then as soon as they touch the uh, skull they uh, being turned into the surface group and the surface group is, uh, is using the XP follow spline to uh, follow the spline path of the rotating helix. So basically that's it setting up the camera and um, simulating having a look at it. I swept it with an end side so I could have control over the amount of polygons that we're actually producing as we're uh, as I was using Octane. I had to have uh, to really worry about to not become too high poly. Um, and I knew that this will be a problem with this special scenario because I'm gonna have loads of loads of polygons. Later on I'm, uh, I'm going to have some crashes actually because uh, the poly count was too high. Um, so I also um, set uh, a little bit of a uh, random radius to the, the particles so they're not uh, equally far away from the surface so it uh, gives more a more natural and random random placement of the splines later on. Then I evened out the geometry a little bit so the particles don't get stuck in some inside places that much. So 
So as you can see now we have loads of loads of particles which lead to loads of loads of um, polygons and loads of geometry. Now I'm deleting the front part of the skull so the particles are not uh, attracted to the front, they're only being attached to the back part. Because I wanted, to, 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 wanted the skull to stick out uh, more, otherwise it would have been hidden, uh, or most of the skull would have been hidden by the actual streaks coming, coming into the skull. Uh, what I also played with was the um, uh, frame sampling of the XP trail. I set it to 2 to reduce the poly count even more. So additionally I uh, have this uh, hair setup here that's just a, a matrix object is being cloned onto the skull and uh, the hair uh, via a small expressor rig is, um, is being attached to the to the matrices. Um, so you can see this in a second. So the hair is growing from this disc and uh, is uh, is being attached to the to the skull here. And then I used the same end side spline for the for the hair. So I just had one end side to control control the the polygon uh, count of uh, both the the hair and the stuff that's going on in the background. Then additionally I made some just some simple little discs, put them into a cloner. Be sure that you you turn the cloner to instances otherwise otherwise it will probably bring cinema to, to the knees that's just to, to give some sort of uh, extra particles um, going on in the scene that are floating around and giving a better sense of depth and uh, um, something to, to reflect the light on I've made everything editable and uh, saved it and the file had I think 1.3 gigabyte or something because it was such a vast amount of polygons you can see here shortly cinema crashed here I, I, I let it import into octane for like 20 or 30 minutes and then it crashed so i need to, needed to reduce the poly count a lot so i just selected the polygons that are going to be visible in the shot and uh, inverted the selection and basically just deleted the rest because i, I knew I, I wouldn't need it um, Change the focal length on the camera a little bit to to get a bigger um, get a bigger crop, so uh, have some extra polygons on the sides. Okay, now it worked. I brought it into Octane and I just started lighting the whole thing. Overall, I have to say, Cinema crashed quite a lot doing this. Or actually, Octane, cra it didn't really crash. The the uh, problem that I had that sometimes I accidentally like, um, I don't know, I pushed wrong buttons, and and uh, Octane needed to reload the geometry, which took about 10 minutes or so to actually get it loaded into Octane. But I'm I'm on I'm on, on an old Mac Pro I think it's 2008 uh, model Mac Pro with the GTX 980 and the GTX 660 that's driving the screen, and um, so it's not 
not much of a workhorse there. Uh, I reckon if you if you're on a newer machine, uh, you won't have that long times loading geometry, uh, actually loading it into your your GPU. I didn't really know what look I was going for. I know I wanted it to be quite dark, so um, I just uh, gave it two lights, basically, uh, two different colors from each side and tried to block out the light a little bit. So uh, I got uh, the background um, a bit darker and the foreground lighter, so, so uh, the skull sticks out even more. Yeah. From now on, there's just a couple of minutes of um, moving lights around, shifting, shifting lights around, making reflectors or actually like blocking cards. I think I'm gonna leave you to it with a little bit of elevator music. So I just ran out 3,000 uh, samples with uh, direct lighting and the quality is not really good but um, for this special case where I just wanted to show off the technique it was alright and I didn't want it to render for ages. So um, uh, I went into After Effects and uh, cheated a little bit, I just uh, used the, the, the same comp that I used for the Levitate one and I just replaced the skull. Uh, it replaced the, the girl with the skull and uh, delete all the atmosphere, uh, the cloud stuff um, from the other one because I didn't need it and uh, uh, have a little bit of a glare layer going on which is just uh, a curves and uh, some sort of uh, uh, UN saturation. Um, the overall color colorization was done in Magic Bullet Looks. Um, I used one of those presets that I that I liked, uh, which gave me kind of a base, uh, a base grade, and uh, changed it so so uh, it fitted to my needs. Yeah, that's about it. I hope you enjoyed the video, and uh, see you soon. <laughs>